what pops up in your mind when I ask you to name five negative, negative emotions? Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, this is my studio, these are my Tarot cards that I'm going to pull towards the end of this video, so please stay with me. So before I go and talk about, further discuss the question that I just asked you, uh, I would just like to say that in case you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my links to my Instagram, my YouTube and my website are in the description of this episode, so please feel free to contact me. We love to judge, right? We love to judge. We love to pass judgments. We think that things are either right or wrong, good or bad, positive or negative, black or white. But we forget that everything is an amalgamation of positives and negatives. So if everything and all of us are a mixture of good and bad, nobody is truly good or truly bad, right? So now when I ask you to name negative emotions, there might be certain emotions that might pop up in your head. For example, anger, jealousy, I don't know, blaming, guilt, whatever it is, shame. Now the problem with categorizing half of the emotions as positive and the other half as negative is that any time our body wants to feel any emotion from the negative negative bucket or the negative category, we begin to feel very guilty. We begin to feel a lot of shame and that's like that's a result of us judging or us passing judgment onto our own emotions. That stops us from feeling our emotions and if we want to feel them, we judge them and hence we have a lot of shame towards feeling that emotion. Now the problem with the emotion of shame and uh, that being a result of ju us judging our emotions and feeling the negative emotions and the negative emotion coming up to the surface uh, is that for example whenever you feel angry or whenever you want to feel sad or upset okay an emotion's purpose is to be expressed is to be felt but when you judge an emotion you and you want to again feel the emotion because that's its purpose you feel a lot of shame now the problem with shame is that shame does not like expression when we feel the emotion of shame we stop our expression we mask our expression we might uh, seek alternatives like alcohol drugs or whatever whatever is your escape mechanism and we might go into that direction only because we judge our emotions and hence we feel ashamed anytime we feel an emotion that we call is negative. So in order to have a healthy mindset, it's important to remove the judgment and accept that every emotion is just an emotion. It is neither positive nor negative. There's no such thing as a positive emotion or a negative emotion. Every emotion is only to be felt and it just exists. So I'm going to pull your cards for you today. Let's see what we have. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. We have the three of cups and the bottom deck energy is the four of pentacles. And there's something popping up. Okay. This is the ace of cups. This is really cool. Okay. So the ace of cups talks about healing. Okay. Healing energies. Uh, I think like, uh, and the Four of Pentacles talks about letting go of things that are not good for you, of not being so stubborn actually, is the message that I'm getting, like stop being so stubborn, stop um, thinking that you know everything and hence, you know, stop judging everything and because understand, when you judge anything or anybody else, your subconscious mind does not know the difference of you judging somebody else or you judging yourself. Your subconscious mind only hears the words that you think or you speak and hence it takes it personally and your subconscious mind begins to think that you are actually judging yourself. Okay, so when you pass judgment onto anything or anyone else, you actually pass more judgment onto yourself and you damage your psyche and your emotional body much more than anyone else, okay? So uh, instead of judging people, instead of uh, finding escape in, I don't know, bitching, um, whatever it is, okay, um, it's better to just have fun. The Three of Cups is a very playful energy. It talks about going out, just enjoying your life, okay. And also, I just realized that there's a lot of um, food on the ground. There's grapes and there's 
pumpkin and I see I don't know something green. So it's important to focus on your diet. Uh, again, I always say that uh, nothing like you know everything goes hand in hand. Your physical uh, body, the way you take care, uh, the way you work out, the way you uh, what you eat, what you speak, what you think about, what you watch, everything matters. Okay. So uh, the message is. Uh, Stop judging, stop being so stubborn, that, that'll help you heal your heart and just go out and have fun, just like, that's gonna help you just be in the moment, okay? So yeah, so that's all that I have for you today, I hope that this was helpful in some way and I'll see you again next time, bye bye, take care.